Welcome to season two of I Got the Last Word. My name is Tamika Sanders and I will be your host. You're probably wondering, what is I Got the Last Word? Well, it's based on popular series like The Voice, The X Factor, and American Idol. The only difference between our show and theirs is that it comes from the poet's perspective. See, there's blood in the air and blood on the leaves and we're surrounded by murder and greed and poisoned by the media. It's suffocating. Why would you want to breathe? With dirty rivers and factories. Fast missies was chastised to rap titties with every week a dude on the news for sex trafficking. Long ago, I lost my way. I didn't know which way was up. I Got the Last Word chronicles the lives of finalists to give you full access into their lives prior to entering I Got the Last Word. This new hit show will showcase the hardships, challenges, triumphs, and rejections of each contestant to give you, our audience, positive and uplifting messages and encourage up-and-coming poets to never give up. Oh my God. Don't with the camera. All right, so how did it go? It was okay. Yeah? How do you feel right now about what you, what you performed, what the judges said? Not good. Is it anything that you're, that from this day or, or going on audition that you're going to take away or try different or think about differently? Um, hard to say. Hard to say? Yeah. All right. Well, good luck and I hope we see you again and thank you for sharing your story with us. Thanks. The poets will be judged in the categories of connectivity, believability, deliverance, drama, and versatility. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with deliverance. I think your cadence and your affliction and your voice was great. I think that was awesome. Good, uh, you can tell that you've been doing it for a while, and uh, I appreciate that. One of the things I will say on the other end of it, I feel like it could use a little bit more emotion in it. Mm. So what I mean by that is uh, I'm not sure if you were hurt. I don't know if you were sad. Like I, if I had a little bit more in your voice, and I could hear the sorrow or I could hear the excitement or like what direction you're going with that. By all means, I'm not saying it was terrible. I just trying to give you a little bit more feedback of what I can see that could be a difference of a change. Make sure you give the eye contact. Um, maybe if you're going to move yourself, move yourself forward on the emphasis of what you're trying to bring forth. So when you get to a point of that of that message and you want to make a strong emphasis, move forward instead of side to side. One of the things about connection, though, is especially in the first setting like this, you express that you're very nervous. You kind of want to ignore the camera. And so I felt like you were playing more to the camera than you were to your audience. Yeah, it's the camera like, ends. Right. I'm like, do I have my standing room? Right? Yeah, <laughs> and so you're, you were trying to focus okay. on those things. Of course, the nerves are going to come out. You know, uh, delivery I thought was good. Your, your versatility was good. I, I think, again, uh, connecting with your audience, you know, and it, it's, it's something inside of you that you're trying to portray. And so again, ignoring that the camera is there and looking at us and looking at the audience. And I know sometimes that's hard, you know, as well, I think as performers, you know, when you look out at the audience, you know, you, you try to envision certain things. And with the camera on it's so much intensity. And again, the nerves are rattling and going on. And you got probably 40 million things going on in your brain right now. And so what I would like for you to see you do going forward, if you go forward, is again that connectivity with the audience. Make them feel what you're feeling. Okay. You actually had me getting a little hungry at one point. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. I thought, oh, that sounds pretty good. And this season, we added a new category in which judges will give contestants five words. Contestants will then have five minutes to show their creativity by bringing these words to life in a poem. Yeah, I brag on my pen. But I'm very privileged to hold one, and it's not what I'm in. You gotta keep a strong mental. No excuse. Cause Lord knows that this world's gonna test you. Yes, you. We have some phenomenal judges. Let me introduce you to them. Dolan. Hello, Dolan. Hi, Tamika. Dolan is our returning judge from season one. He is the spice of our show and the comedian that keeps us laughing on and off camera. He grew up in music because his mother was the first Native American Radio City Music Hall Rocket, and she performed with legends like Sammy Davis Jr. and Dinah Washington. 
Phyllis. Hello, Phyllis. Hello. Phyllis is from Buffalo, New York, and she started off as a dance artist. Then words became her life when she moved to Phoenix, Arizona and hooked up with a writing group. She is now the author of four short stories. Ben, hello Ben. Ben is also from Phoenix, Arizona, and he's a musician. He spent most of his life in marching bands and jazz bands and still dabbles with his trumpet. I'm just going to introduce myself. My name okay. is Hot Chocolate. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. These are the judges that will be helping us on season two of I Got the Last Word. This is my darn declaration, define expectations, inspired to aspire to higher elevation, started at Genesis, read the entire... This season, contestants are going to have the opportunity to win a grand prize of $2,000 in cash. The contestants are going to be selected after two full days of auditions, and each week the contest is going to be narrowed over the course of five weeks as contestants are eliminated, leaving just a few finalists in the sixth week to compete for the grand prize. Our judges are going to critique the live performances so that they determine who's going to continue and who's going to be eliminated each week as the anticipation builds. Now you, our audience, will be able to view each episode live through our YouTube channel every Sunday at 7 p.m. So you want to make sure that you tune in, like, and subscribe at our website at www.igotthelastword.tv so you can follow the competition. Until then, I got the last word. This is my darn declaration, define expectations, inspired to aspire to higher elevation, started at Genesis, read the entire revelation, dedication, meditation, and some fire medication, judge a prophet and a poet, both body reputation, fanatically practice, perfection requires preparation, I go hard, like this could be the last chance, romance.